Hey, everybody. My name is Jay the Haitian Mogul. Um, a lot of you might already be on my personal page, Jessica Morales. I got another one. It's Jay Nice. Um, I wanted to make this video as a motivational, midday motivational type video because I've been having a lot of people in my inboxes um, recently, lately, and really the last few months or so, just, just going through it, you know, and every day I try to have a little motivational topic on my page so that way it can motivate others, you know. Whatever it is you're going through, just to know that it's going to pass. You know, unfortunately, some things do seem like they last a whole lot longer than, than they're supposed to. But at the end, God got you, you know, and that's how I see it. Um, I don't know if you guys know my story. Um, if you don't, you can check out my YouTube channel, which is the Haitian Mo at the Haitian Mogul. And I have a, a bunch of videos in there where I talk about coming up and growing up and basically getting to where I'm at right now. Um, I was depressed a few years ago. Um, lost my job, was unemployed for two years, so most of the time I spent crying and drinking, and then basically, it was, it was probably one of the lowest times of my life, and then when I lost my nephew, um, it, it brought me even lower, um, but I had to, after that, um, losing him and getting into a car accident, which caused these marks on my face, by the way, as well as, um, these right here, and I got a big mark on my back. Just knowing that, unfortunately, that my nephew was not here, but I did make it out of the accident. And, and not to say, like, we weren't in the same situation or nothing like that. Um, it was just after the fact, hearing about him, and it was a lot. Um, but I had to, that actually woke me up. That in itself is what actually made me to realize that I got to do something. I got to make a change. I got to... Gotta be better, you know, be for myself and for those around me and the ones that I love, including my wife and my family members. So that is all it took. Um, unfortunately, it took because I'm I'm 31 now. So unfortunately, it took up until last year, the year before, for me to actually for it to click. So I haven't dry. I don't drink as nowhere near as much as I used to anymore. Um, stopping smoking. I picked up exercising. I work out. I lost over shit. I lost over 70-some pounds. Um, I'm still working out today. Now, I'm, it's a part of my routine. It's a part of my every day, which is something that whatever it is you're going through, that's what you'll have to find is something that you can do as a routine that will motivate you and uplift you to make you feel as though you are worth something because you are. You know, we all are great. We all have these amazing things inside of us that are screaming to come out. And the only way that we can do that is by actually putting ourselves out there. And unfortunately, you're going to get hurt. You know, people are going to do shit that, that we don't agree with. People are going to say shit that's going to piss us off. But we can't let that affect our moods. We can't let that affect our attitudes. And unfortunately, even our circumstances, they cannot affect us at all. Now, of course, you can cry. You know, if, something, if you're going through something, you can cry. But don't stay in that position. Don't stay down there with the bottle. Don't stay down there crying in your, in your shirts and crying in your pillows, in the closets. Like, that's, that's, that's how bad my shit got. To the point I'm so depressed and so talking down on myself that I, I found myself sleeping in my own fucking closet with a bottle next to me. I'm not trying to go back to that shit. So same reason why I'm out here trying to motivate other people to think of themselves as something so much greater. Just don't worry about that piece of shit 9 to 5 job that you got. That's not helping you make your ends meet. Because all you got to do is they focus on what you want to do. What is it that you want to do? I've been asking people about this all week and literally the last several months. What do you want to do? What is it that you do that makes you so fucking happy? What is it that you do that makes you want to get up in the morning to do that? If you don't do nothing else, but the fact that you think about it all night and the first thing that comes to mind when you wake up, what is that? And that's why I encourage everybody to go and search for it. Go find that. Go get that. You know, and the, the things that you're doing now, it's just leading up to it. It's all stepping stones, you know. I work my 9 to 5. I still got that bullshit, but it just pays my bills. Like, it literally just pays my bills. I don't have anything else after the fact. So, I, but I'm working on my mentality, and that's what everybody else, of course, you still have to work on. And it's like a continuous pr process. I mean, there is no ending. There is no way that you can say, yeah, I'm good. I got everything I need to do. No, because every day is going to be something else. Every day is going to be something different that you're going to have to adapt to, that you're going to have to understand about yourself or that you learned about yourself. So these are the types of things that I'm trying to at least understand for myself so that way I can't express it to others. 
You know, because a lot of times you might try to explain that the law of attraction or Abraham Hicks and the vortex and being able to understand your vibrations and how to vibrate higher. A lot of people don't understand that. It sounds like Chinese. And keep in mind, to me, a couple years ago, it was Chinese. But that's what saved my life. And I tell it in all my videos, Tony Robbins saved my life. You know, I, I don't know where I would have been without those tapes. And it's sad to kind of say it like that, but I take so much pride in it because of the fact that it's something so small, like a YouTube video that can change your perspective on things. And because of that, I add that to my routine now. So now every morning when I get up, I have a motivational tape just ready for me to listen to. And if I'm feeling some type of way later on that day, I play that tape again. I don't have anything that I'm against trying and testing out to see what my happiness lies. And that's what you got to do for yourself. Unfortunately, there are going to be some times where you're going to have to let go of what you got. And you're going to have to move on to, to something else. But that's going to be a decision that you have to make for yourself. But if you think about your happiness, and it's not being selfish. It's basically just you finding that inner peace in you. Knowing what makes you truly happy. Knowing your likes and your dislikes. That, that this changes everything. That will literally change your whole perspective on life. And change how you treat people. Ever since I started doing the Law of Attraction and using that type of mindset, I'm not angry anymore. Every day I used to be pissed off. I used to have a, a slight anger problem. I'm, I'm, I'm um, not exaggerating enough. My anger problem was huge. It got worse with alcohol. Um, and every once in a while, I have a relapse. But I get back on the horse. I get back to trying because I know that that's not me. That's, that's just the me... That's inebriated. That's the motherfucker I'm trying to get away from. So I know that about myself. So I keep away from it. You know? So now what I do, what I get drunk off of is my workouts and my exercise. And I do it all day, every day. Well, not every day. After I had my injury on my arm, which was basically me, I put a muscle, I believe it was, because it, it was it was bad. But that's it. I, I, I take my breaks like I'm supposed to. And then I do it back to my workouts. But that's that's my addiction now being healthy i don't eat as much as i used to i don't eat meat as much as i used to those things are going to come along the, the more that you work on yourself the more that you learn about yourself the more that you study about what can make you happy or what can actually truly put you in that mind frame to make everybody else around you be inspired and be motivated to be better to be great to show their greatness to learn about their greatness and to put it out there for everybody else to see we're not supposed to be sitting here quiet and be little mouses and shit. No, we're supposed to be out. We're supposed to put our hands out, express everything. If you ask me about anything, I'll tell you exactly what the fuck it is. I literally do not have anything I keep secret. Nothing whatsoever. So if there's, and that's how that's, that's just me though, you know, because other people might not be that way. I, I just like being an open book because it makes other people, for me, more comfortable to be themselves. Now, that might not work for you. You might not be one type, but you might be somebody that likes to listen. So you can reach out to somebody. And that's something else I learned when I was in AA. And I only took one in a class to realize that, I, that my problem was a problem, but it wasn't that big of a problem. So that scared me in itself, just being in there, listening to all those people. Now, I want you want to show you my chip, my one-day chip. I actually had another one. Here is my day one chip for being there for the first day. This was after the accident. I had obviously you had a it was DUI, but um, this is the chip that I got from somebody else who had been who had been sober for twenty one years, and she gave it to me first day of being there. I hold this till this day. I promise you, this has been this happened almost a year ago. I still carry this with me everywhere I go. And that's just to remind me. This is my wallet. This is just to remind me what happened, what I could have been at, and what I need to do to be better. Find that for yourself. Get that for yourself. Say what you need to do to be better. The wife is calling. Say what you need to do to be better. And then come back to me. Hit me up if you have any questions. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I'm here for you guys. I'm always here to give you a lending ear and to be supportive. All right, so I'll catch you guys in the next one again. It's Jay the Hey Shmogul signing off.